me, I've made up my mind that beyond being a preacher, beyond being a man of God, I will truly be an addicted lover of his presence. Second Chronicles chapter 15. Let's read from verse 12 to 15. I hope God is helping someone. Second Chronicles 15 and verse 12. 12 to 15. Help us media. Let's read together. I hope you will not be tired. One to go. And they entered into a covenant. Uh -huh, to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their hearts and with all their souls. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death whether small or great whether man or woman verse 14 and they swear unto the lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets verse 15 as loud as you can and all judah rejoiced at the oath for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with their whole desire help me now and he was found of them the result the lord gave them stop stop who gave them Ah, there is a gift called rest that the Lord gave them. The Lord gave them. The Lord gave them. There are things God gives people. The Lord gave them rest round about. Rest round about the Lord. There are things that when you see captured in the life of certain believers, it's like a signature. God tells you this is it. I have tabernacled this life. Are we together now? There are certain buildings that when you see from an architectural standpoint, you can almost guess that it has to be one of these dexterous construction companies. You know that this was not just a locally outsourced contractor because there is a level of dexterity finishing attention to details. This is how you can see a life built by God. You can see a signature like Julius Berger, like, you know, CECC. God can build a life and sign on it. When you see it, you know that this one is a planting of the Lord. God was the farmer that planted this seed. This was his garden. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that men will look at your life and your life will be a continuation of their Bible study. That the things they did not understand as they opened their Bibles to study, God will use your life to give them further explanations. If they ever read that God is the one who favors men and they did not understand it, God will refer them to your life as, as a personification of what it means to be helped by God. You believe that? Shout Amen. Hallelujah. So you must make up your mind to have an encounter with God an encounter with God show me a man who has failed by every definition but has a determination to know God to learn God I show you a man who is scheduling seasons of victory never laugh at a man who is investing in the knowledge of God are we together yes preachers your strength and your impact in ministry will be a function of not just the quality of the sermons alone. I tell you sincerely, the knowledge of God. When you come to a church like this and you teach, you know that the presence of God is here. You see, let me tell you something with people. Whether you are saved or not, the spirit of man was designed to know when the presence of God is in a place. You can live in denial, but one thing you cannot deny is the reality of his presence pay the price to seek God half the time you spend trying to lobby your way through the emotions of men if you will leave them in peace and invest it in his presence you will look like a fool for a while but ladies and gentlemen when that Shekinah rests on you you will become a living sign and a wonder this has nothing to do with being in ministry this is how beauty and glory and color evolves hallelujah so, so that you don't think that, oh, I'm, 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 not, I'm not interested in being a man of God. So you just tell preachers about this. The secret of beauty and grace and color is his presence. It's his presence. It's his presence. Hallelujah. i rather fail in ministry and let my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, let his presence remain real to me. I consider myself a success. 
You may have heard me say, I will shut down koinonia a thousand times to maintain my relationship with Jesus. Because what you see today was an overflow of that stream. I will be foolish to waste that experience because of a search for mundane things. Show me a man who has decided to stay with God, to shut your ears away from whatever, whether good or bad, and focus on his presence. I'm showing you a very powerful secret. Some of you, that was how you got so far until success distracted you. Return to the place of his presence. It is the secret of victory. That you can be in his presence and God will carry what is a prayer request of others and bring to you as a gift. Because in the secret place, it is a love affair. It's beyond a prayer affair. It's beyond a fasting affair. It's beyond a scripture quotation affair. These are different layers, but you finally get to the realm of lovers. You know what lovers do when they are really in love. A man can carry everything and give his wife courtesy love. Love is not transactional. It's an expression of joy and pleasure. A desire to see. You see, let me tell you this. There are people by reason of the level of investment, mercy and grace that they've made in God's presence. The jealousy of God upon their lives looks so palpable. It looks like God seems to ignore others and focus on them. Even though we know that's not, that's not the case. But that is how determined he is to see that they continue to blossom. If you lose anything in your life, it is better to lose money and retain his presence. You didn't really lose. The money just went on a journey to gather its kind and return back. If, it is, if, if you still retain the presence of God, it's a secret that I'm praying will be a revelation to someone. Are we together now? Apostle, but you see, if I spend time to seek God and all these kinds of God things, do you know how many things that I have rent issues? I have the so if you leave his presence, will it solve the problem? Is it not in your Bible that it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow? Look, if God does not open a door, you can wrestle in front of a door and it will not open. The Bible says, when the angel struck the struck the sodomites with blindness the bible says they wearied themselves in front of the door they were in front of a door that had their solution but because they were blind they wearied themselves the secret to ministry is to forget about the deception of publicity and stay staying is how you run staying is how you program speed in your life. Who is God speaking to? Because there are benefits from his presence. Benefits. Immense benefits from his presence. Are we together? Take your prayer life seriously. Take your word study life seriously. Take your time of worship. These are not just religious rituals. It's not just a preacher's recommendation to help you become spiritual. These are the keys. You are programming an enviable destiny. I'm telling you, there are believers who do not have time dedicated for God because they are busy trying to make life happen in the strength of the flesh. And this is the reason why many believers get angry because when you try and try and use brain work and use everything and it does not work and you watch others seem to rise in a level of ease that is intimidating, the secret is that they found treasures. There is something called treasures in darkness. The darkness here is not evil. Are you learning? Hmm. Treasures in darkness and hidden riches in secret places. Something you can find in his presence can bail you out for life. Bail you out for life. Bail your ministry for life. Are we together? An engracing you can receive as a residue of his presence can put you in a position of influence and honor and relevance all through the lifetime of your generation. I study the patriarchs, those who have gone to be with the Lord, both in scripture and modern history. And I can tell you the, the common line between all of them is that they invested in this business of presence. They did. They did. They spent time. 
their prayer life was not just about receiving things and using prayer as just a means for transaction and to end there their purpose of prayer was to know him more to press deeper they touch certain layers in the spirit that change their lives you can know the difference between a man of god who has invested in presence and one who is sincerely obeying theology the difference will be as clear as night and day presence you see when we minister the word there is a part of this preaching that intelligence cannot receive it's a spirit communication are we learning now presence you want to arise stay in his presence the spirit entered me ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 2 the spirit entered me are you seeing that the business of arising starts with the spirit it's a spirit business when there was darkness in genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 to who are who confusion and chaos the bible reveals the holy spirit before the matter of intelligence was spoken about before words even came it was the spirit what gives value to your speakings is the hovering of the spirit what makes your words potent you want to tell the sick be healed and have them healed you want to speak over nations you want god to bless your mind it is always listen the business of excellence and victory is a spirit affair it is only that that spirit affair is transacted here in the earth realm but if you lose touch the root of all things is the spirit realm prosperity the spirit realm influence the spirit realm grace and power the spirit realm grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge the knowledge of god are we learning now pray in one minute and ask the lord to plant a fresh hunger a fresh hunger for him beyond the hunger for making it beyond the hunger for excelling let me tell you the truth do you know that the desire to make it can be an idol the desire to be anointed can be an idol. The desire to be a word giant can be an idol, as spiritual as it is. Anything that takes its place and steals that place is an idol. It doesn't have to be evil. Once it is not him being the first place, it can be an idol. I'd like you to pray sincerely. Cry for the grace to invest in his presence. Shalaka prandeke Cry in the name of Jesus. I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it. When it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Don't be distracted. This is part of the meeting. Yeah.